Hey, what's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another redstone tutorial and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cool and simple zero tick stackable sugarcane farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition So if you guys are excited for that make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and without further ado Let's get right into today's video this sugarcane farm is really easy to set up and as I said it's stackable so you can have this go as high as you want Of course you can have this go as long as you want as well This is just a really nice sugarcane farm and as I said it's using a zero tick What that means is that we're actually using some zero tick pistons back there To basically update this little dirt block that sugarcane is sitting on That means that it's going to grow really fast without of the use of bone meal one downside is that it's actually gonna grow two blocks high and that's even enough because it produces a ton of sugarcane in a really small amount of the time and we're also not using any bone meal, you are gonna be able to see it in action a little bit later on but you can see the reason for this is really simple even though it seems like there is a lot of it we are basically just running some redstone repeaters and redstone dust to pretty much power the blocks and there is no complicated redstone mechanics of course we just have the observer detecting the little sugar cane so once it grows the pistons are going to push everything off this little contraption right here is only here to prevent the observer from creating a clock and firing the pistons on and off constantly you can see that the sugar cane once it grows the observer is going to be able to actually detect it firing off all of the pistons which is obviously going to break the sugar cane and send it into the hoppers into our little collection chest right there this contraption just makes sure that once the observer detects the sugar cane it's not going to detect the extension and the retraction of the piston that way it's not going to create the clock and it's going to give time to sugar cane to actually grow using these zero take pistons that we have underneath but you can see over here that if we actually activate the uh, little level right here the everything is going to start growing without of the use of the bone meal and really really fast you can see that this is a not sped up uh, footage you can see i'm just moving around and the sugarcane is growing kinda instantly and you can see it works absolutely amazing all of the things are going to end up in this chest of course you can have a larger amount of the storage but right now for this tutorial I'm just gonna be using this uh, single double chest but you can see that this farm is going to produce a ton of sugarcane really really fast and the beauty of it is that you can have it as long as you want and of course you can stack it on top of each other so you can see you're going to get a ton of the sugarcane really really fast but redstone as I said is really simple to set up and I'm going to show you how to make it right now so the blocks we're going to need for this are a block for your choice, normal piston, redstone, redstone torch, some glass or if you don't want to look at the farm you can just cover it up you're going to need some redstone repeaters, a lever, some dirt to place the uh, actual sugar cane on you're going to need some observers, some sugar cane to actually plant of course the chest and the hoppers for the collection system, some water and some stairs to actually hydrate the uh, dirt so we can actually put in the sugar cane we're gonna start off by putting some block for choice that we're gonna have the pistons on of course I'm gonna go 8 blocks because the water travels 8 blocks but you can have this go as wide as you want and of course stack uh, the farm as much as you want but we're gonna go 8 blocks wide so that would mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 then we're gonna grab ourselves uh, the pistons and have them facing upwards on top of the block for choice then right here behind them we're gonna have the rest of torches on every single piston and this is basically what's going to create our zero tick pistons which is gonna be updating the dirt block and make our sugar cane grow a lot faster on top of the torches we're actually gonna have the normal pistons facing right here and you can see that they're gonna get extended then we're just going to go ahead and repeat the process until we cover every single torch right here then what we need to do is put in our dirt and the dirt is gonna go on this block right here so basically these pistons are gonna be on zero tick that means that they are basically gonna extend and retract really really fast they're gonna be updating the block next to it which is going to be this dirt block where we're gonna have our sugar cane and it's going to make it grow a little bit faster the next thing we're going to do is basically connect these pistons by connecting the rest onto these blocks underneath it but before we do that we need to create a little contraption like this we're just gonna create like a little T using some block for choice like this we are going to destroy the first block and have the rest of Peter going into this block and then start torch right over here we can see that's gonna be creating a little clock and the reason for that is because we want to be able to actually stop the machine and the only way to do that is by having this little contraption with the lever right here to stop it the next thing we need to do is actually activate all of these blocks right here 
we're gonna do that alternating between the redstone and the redstone repeater. So for the first one, we're gonna have the redstone dust, then we're gonna have the repeater, redstone dust, repeater, and just alternate between them. I'm just gonna go and uh, do the redstone repeaters first. The reason I'm doing this is just to save a little bit of the resources on the repeaters. You can do uh, the repeaters all the way just to kind of make it go at the same time. But you can see that once we actually activate this lever, all of them are going to start uh, retracting and uh, the extending really, really fast. They're going to be updating this block right here. But of course, we don't want that to happen yet. The next step is going to be to put in our water and we're going to use the little stairs over here to make them waterlogged so we can actually hydrate the dirt right here. I'm gonna be using the uh, bird poop stairs of course, but you can use any kind that you want. You just want to have them upside down on top of these pistons right here, going all the way as far as the pistons go. Then we want to make sure that we cover the piston right here because there is gonna be some leakage and it's definitely gonna destroy our redstone down below. But what we want to do is basically just create a little border around so the water can't actually escape. So we're just gonna do something like this and cover everything up. Then we can go ahead, grab ourselves the water bucket and water log every single stair right here. Just go ahead, do something like that. And you can see that we need to grab ourselves the sugar cane and actually plant it. But you can see we can plant it right now. What we need to do is actually activate the machine and then we're gonna be able to actually plant all of the sugar cane. Of course, we're not gonna have any collection systems or the way to actually break the sugar cane so we're just gonna stop the machine and destroy the top sugar canes right over here because we need to put in our pistons to actually break the sugar cane they're gonna go on top of our stairs right over here so just go ahead and place this normal piston facing towards you just like this on top of the stairs then we're gonna need to grab ourselves the observer right over here what we need to do is uh, basically go ahead and have the observer Face detecting the actual sugar cane right here. Then we're gonna need to build a little platform over here so we can have the redstone on it. And of course, we're gonna be creating that little contraption to make sure that the observer is only gonna be detecting the sugar cane and not the extension and retraction of the pistons. So, what we need to do is have a repeater coming out of the observer with two ticks delay going into a block, with another redstone repeater over here as well on two tick delay going into another block. With the redstone right here and another redstone repeater going into the first one with three ticks delay just like that. And we can basically go ahead and connect all of the pistons using some redstone dust just like that. Once we've done that, we can basically have our collection system right here. We're gonna have the chest right here in the middle and we can basically lead some hoppers into it. We're gonna have one going on this side and one right here. We can basically connect three more of the hoppers to basically finish the line right over here and do the same on the other side. So just three more hoppers like that. We can basically cover all of this with the glass to make sure that all of the sugar cane is actually gonna end up in the hoppers. And the farm is basically complete, all we have to do is actually flick the lever to see if everything is working nicely. You're gonna see that the sugarcane is gonna start growing really fast. Again, I didn't speed up this footage, this is the actual farm. The zero tick pistons are just updating the dirt block really fast and that makes the sugarcane grow a lot faster. You can see everything is gonna get collected in those hoppers and you're going to get a ton of the sugarcane really, really fast. If you check it, you can see that it's never going to stop flowing over here because the sugarcane is just constantly gonna be flowing through the hoppers, especially if you have like two of these farms run on top of each other. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to set up right now. What we're gonna do is basically go two blocks away from this first farm like this with the block for choice and we're basically gonna be repeating the process. This time I'm not gonna talk so you guys can just see how the farm is actually made because I know some of you people actually like and prefer that way and it's a little bit easier to understand if I don't talk so here we go.
hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse of making the second layer but the final thing that we need to do is actually connect both farms to one single lever so we're gonna do that by creating a little wall over here but what we are gonna do is just have the lever on this side over here that way we can actually connect it to both of uh, the little activators right there we are just going to flick this because we don't want anything to work right now we are basically gonna have this leading right here with the repeater if you have the redstone it wouldn't work because it would create the loop again so we just need to use the little repeater right there but you can see the first one is basically stopped what we need to do is basically lead the redstone signal to this block right here we are basically gonna have two blocks out like that and we are gonna have the repeater going into that block right here but we are not gonna destroy the lever on the other side before we actually connect it with redstone what we're gonna do is basically create a little staircase right over here using the block of our choice and we can basically just lead it down right here just go ahead and do something like this and lead it all the way down just like that we can grab the redstone from this side and basically lead it up to our staircase to the second activation point and you can see that everything is gonna get connected and we can destroy the lever on this side right over here just like that and you can see if we press the lever right here down below both of the machines are gonna start working and you can see we're gonna get a ton of the sugarcane really really fast what you can do is basically just cover this up over here with the block for choice on either side just like that again keep in mind that you can actually have this go as long as you want and stack as many of the farms on top of each other but i'm probably gonna have the second layer of the farm actually sped up maybe like two times but of course if you want to kind of slow it down once the video is uploaded you can actually slow it down when you're watching it but yeah guys that's gonna have to do it for today's video you can see this is a really easy sugarcane farm to set up and it's going to get you a ton of sugarcane in a really small amount of the time if you have any problems with the farm, if I went over some things a little bit faster, let me know in the comments below and I'm gonna help you fix it. But if you guys have enjoyed this video or find it useful, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. If you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content, make sure to share with them. But as always, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.